Thursday's Emulation Station Desktop Edition and Neo Geo and Neo Geo CD Setup Guide. If you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, Just Jamie. That just means you get notified each time I release a setup guide and it also helps out my channel well a lot too. So firstly, if you're new to Emulation Station Desktop Edition, check out my fully comprehensive guide and that will get you up and running and get a basic idea of what Emulation Station Desktop Edition is. So what we're going to do then is look at Neo Geo and Neo Geo CD today. So first of all, what we're going to need to do is establish if we're using Emulation Station in portable version or the installation version. So I'm using the portable version for this and here's my directory and I'm going to pop some games in here in a second. What we're going to do first of all is just download RetroArch and RetroArch really is the best way to play your Neo Geo CD games and Neo Geo games. I'm going to download the 64-bit portable version. We also got an installer version. If you want to download that, download it and install it. I'm going to go for the download 64-bit. Now, if you're not sure if you've got a 32-bit or 64-bit computer, easiest way to establish this is just search system information. And right just here, we're going to find under system type that I'm actually running a 64-bit computer. If you're running a 32-bit computer, it's likely going to say times 86. So what we're going to do then is actually download the 64-bit portable version of RetroArch. And once this has been downloaded, we're going to download what's called cores. And these are, in fact, almost like the old emulators. So RetroArch is now downloaded. If I just extract this, and what I'm going to do is go back into my emulation station directory. And we've got the emulator spawner here. And I'm going to just drag and drop the RetroArch portable version inside of here. Really easy stuff. And this can take a little bit of time. This package is full of goodness. Okay, so once we've extracted the RetroArch into the ESDE folder, what we're going to do next is go inside the RetroArch and actually open it up first. So if we just scroll to the bottom, you're going to find retroarch.exe. This is the executable. Okay, once we're inside of RetroArch, the first thing we need to do is just make sure this opens up in full screen. So to do this, we're going to go down to settings. And if I just then go across and go down to video, from here, I'm going to go down to full screen mode. And start in full screen mode is currently off. I'm going to just turn this on. So here we go. So if I then back out and back out again, what we're going to need to do next then is download two cores. So we need a RetroArch core or emulator, if you like, for Neo Geo. And we also need one for Neo Geo CD. So to do this, I'm going to go up to main menu and just go down to online updater and core downloader. And from here, there's two that we need to download. So the first one I'm going to be downloading it's going to be Final Burn Neo. If I just download this one, and as you can see, we now got a hashtag, so that tells us it's been installed into RetroArch. And finally, we're going to just scroll down until we come across Neo Geo CD. So here we go. So SNK Neo Geo CD. If I just download this one and let this install, and if I come out of here and out again. What I'm going to do next, just go down to configuration file and just make sure, save current configuration. Here we go. Cool. So next thing I need to do is just go down to quit. Okay, so next thing we need to do is add some BIOS files inside of this RetroArch folder. So we're going to go down to system folder. And in here, what I'm going to do is just create a new folder by right clicking new folder. And I'm going to call this Neo CD. Now I've got my BIOS files here, so I've got neocdz.zip or neocz.zip and I've also got neogeo.zip. So I'm going to just copy both of these inside of that RetroArch system folder and I'm going to right click on both of these and go into that neocd folder I've created and just simply paste those inside. So we're now set up with neogeo and neogeocd. 
Next thing we're going to want to do then is just come out and if we head into the main directory of where your ROMs or your games are stored for emulation station, we're going to find all of these subfolders, each representing a game system within emulation station. So first of all, we're going to find Neo Geo. Here is Neo Geo and in my Neo Geo games folder, I've got a few games here, all in .zip too. We don't need to extract these. I'm going to just drag and drop those into that Neo Geo folder. And finally, we got Neo Geo CD. If I go into my Neo Geo CD games, I've got two here, Galaxy 5, Ghost Pilots. So as it stands, these aren't going to work through RetroArch in Emulation Station. In fact, if we just pop these into the Emulation Station ROMs folder, they're not going to display at all. So what we need to do then is actually extract Neo Geo CD games. I'm going to right click on Ghost Pilots. I'm using WinRAR to extract this. So we're just going to wait for this to extract and we're going to extract a load of .bin files as well as a .q. So once that's extracted, we can now delete the .zip. And I've also got another game here to extract, Galaxy Fight. Again, right click and we're going to extract this one. Okay, so once that's been extracted, I'm also going to delete the dot .zip of this as well. What we're going to do next is actually open up esde.exe. This is your executable for Emulation Station Desktop Edition. Okay then, so as we can see, we now got Neo Geo and we also got Neo Geo CD. If I go into Neo Geo CD first, here's my two games. Now what I'm going to suggest doing is just go to main menu and if we go down to other settings, alternative emulators, we got two just here. So we got Neo Geo and we want to make sure this one for Neo Geo CD is just by default Final Burn Neo. And also under Neo Geo CD Japanese, we just want to make sure Neo CD is selected as default, which it is. So what we're going to do next is actually scrape some artwork. So I'm going to enter main menu, scraper, and scrape these games. I'm going to go for all games because this is a fresh installed emulation station and this is the only games I've got here. So scrape these systems. I'm going to check Neo Geo and Neo Geo CD back. Account settings. I'm going to just pop in my username and password. Also make sure you use this account for screen scraper selected. And obviously if you don't have a screen scraper account, go over to the website. It's absolutely free and you can download lots of artwork as well as some preview videos. If we go to back, content settings, I'm going to just make sure everything's checked here, which it is. And we're going to download every piece of artwork available and we're going to go down to start. And we're going to just let this scraping process do its thing. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, so everything has now been scraped apart from Blue's Journey. So the reason this is, is because it's got the ragai on the end. So I'm going to press select button, edit this game's metadata, name, and I'm going to just backspace until we just see Blue's Journey. And then if I go down to the bottom and just press on save and apply, I'm now going to attempt to scrape this again. So scraper, and obviously we don't want Neo Geo CD anymore for this. And I'm going to just scrape again. Cool. And now we have got Blue Sturdy also scraped by editing that metadata. So let's actually open up a Neo Geo CD game. So I'm going to open up Galaxy Fight. And what I'm going to do is just use my controller and go to start.
Okay, so that's working absolutely fine. So I've just access to quick menu, retro work quick menu that is, and I'm pressing my Google Stadia button. Now, if you're using an Xbox controller, it'll be your Xbox button. For PlayStation controllers, your PS button. If I just go down to save states, state slot, we got a thousand slots here to save. So I'm gonna just use default auto or zero. And if I go to save state, And go back into the Retro Arch Quick menu, load state. Cool. Other things we can do from the Retro Arch Quick menu is actually change how the video looks or how the gameplay looks. So we'll just go to settings for this, video, scaling, and from here we can change the aspect ratio of the game. So core provided is selected. If we go to full, and if I come back out, and quick menu, resume. And as we can see, we now got a full screen, but we can enhance video even further. So we go to video, scaling, and we're gonna enable integral scale over scale. If I go back into the game, quick menu, resume. That's going to add a slight blur to the game. Other things we can do here from RetroArch Quick Menu is actually go down to On Screen Overlay. If I turn this on, Overlay Preset, Borders, I can then put a border in place. So for example, I can just go down to say TV Integer, and if I come back out and Quick Menu will resume, But as we can see by applying that overlay, because we've got this in full screen, you're losing a lot of the gameplay. So if I go back to settings video, scaling, aspect ratio, and I'm gonna put this to four by three. And if I go back into the game, so as you can see, it looks a little bit better. So plenty of overlays there to experiment with and whilst you're playing around with video settings, once you find out what you like, we actually need to save this. So if we go to core options, manage core options, we've got save game options and that's going to apply to the current content using the Neo CD core. Or we can actually save those video settings so this will apply to all your Neo Geo CD games. If we hit save content directory options, that will do just that. Okay, and finally, we've got Neo Geo. So if I go into Neo Geo, what I'm gonna do is just open up one of these games. I'm gonna go for a very awesome game here, Blazing Star. Cool, so as we can see, the game works really well. So from here, just like Neo G C D, we can actually change video settings. So settings, and from here, we're gonna go down to scaling, and I'm gonna turn this one into a full screen as well. And for this one, I'm gonna turn on integral scale. And as you can see in the background, that's slightly become bigger. I'm also gonna go to integral scale over scale, and what this is going to do is compress that image ever so slightly and it's going to make it a little bit blurred. If we go back into the game then. And as you can see just there, the game looks a lot better. It's not so pixelated. And again, we have to go to video and from video back down to scaling. And what I'm going to do is just scroll down the video filter at the bottom. We can actually apply a filter and this goes for Neo Geo CD2. So under here, you can find lots of different filters such as scan lines. If I got the scan line just here, if I apply scan line two times to this, if I then go back into my game,
and as you can see that looks really awesome and almost arcade like so other things we can do under video and under video filter is apply other things such as two times sow if i apply this and go back into the game and what i'm going to do actually is just take away that full screen as well as the integral scale if I just put this back to normal setting, so say 4x3, and go back into the game. And as you can see, that looks absolutely stunning. So just remember, if you find the video settings that you like, always remember to save them so you can do this again just like neo geo cd under quick menu core options manage core options and again just like neo geo cd we can save it for this particular game or we can save it for all the games using this final burn neo core and i always suggest go down to configuration file and just save current configuration in case these settings get lost and that's it for today's Emulation Station Desktop Edition and Neo Geo and Neo Geo CD setup guide. So quite a basic setup guide for that one. But as you can see through the gameplay footage just there, by messing around with the video settings, you get some really awesome effects out of that, especially the scanline effect. So anyways, check out my other Emulation Station Desktop Edition setup guide to my Emulation Station playlist. And also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time... Stay retro. I'm